subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Kredok. Hi friends, uh, my name is Malaysian Devasani. In this video, I'll be sharing uh, very interesting facts about the books to prepare for Gate Computer Science and IT. So let's uh, the first see why, uh, which books and how to prepare uh, the books. So some of the tips to prepare for books here I'm sharing. The first one, you require the syllabus, then follow the syllabus and the syllabus demands uh, which books need to prepare. And when you prepare any standard textbook, you must understand the how to uh, prepare these books according to the given uh, gate syllabus. So prepare a proper notes uh, from the books. This will help you if you want to prepare the same topic and again you no need to go for the book because book in general contains uh, maybe 50 to 100 pages uh, for each uh, topic. So again preparing 50 to 100 uh, pages which may take even one day, two day, three days. So this will waste your time to prepare a single topic. So better to prepare a notes uh, when you prepare any textbook then when you prepare notes try to understand the concepts how to cover in your notes then understand the first definitions and which is covered through the concepts and which include examples and formulas and some of the important uh, problems or exercise problems and then make a short notes after preparing the complete notes so that this short notes will help you to remember the important uh, concepts from the given or prepared topic. Then maintain the sequence of topics in your preparation because the book contains so many topics, so many relevant and so many irrelevant topics are there. So you need to understand what is important for GATE. So anyhow, so GATE has uh, clearly mentioned what are the topics you required for preparation. So only follow those topics for uh, during your preparation. Then let's begin of uh, what are the books required to prepare for the gate computer science. Now we know the programming in data structure is a very important subject and there are hundreds of books are available in the market. So do you prepare every subject that is having so many different concepts? It's very really difficult to cover each subject which is available in the market. So what I suggest you prepare maximum one textbook to cover whole syllabus but there are some important topics you may need to uh, look at so many resources when you don't understand from one textbook. So at the last I will be concluding then how to cover how many books you need to prepare for each book but understand so far uh, we believe that one textbook is uh, enough for preparing one subject. In this programming in data structure we have two kinds of uh, topics one is programming and another one is data structure. So for the programming you just uh, follow uh, by Dennis Rich and the data structures just uh, follow by Samantha. So these two books are uh, very good for preparing gate and of course uh, you may feel there are so many other textbooks you can also follow them but try to go with one textbooks and these are the books which were uh, recommended by uh, many toppers and I have personally discussed that have you prepared these books or not and most of them they have prepared these two textbooks and really they help lot uh, to, uh, uh, to understand the concepts. Then uh, the second subject is algorithms. So there are um, only few books are available for algorithms out of them the Corman is a very good book which is uh, um, uh, covering all uh, important concepts for algorithms even though uh, it is uh, looks like lengthy but you will be clear once you read this subject. So as a computer science you must know data structure and algorithms very well. So please try to read one time at least this Corman book to uh, do better for the future. Then we will see computer networks. Um, even the computer networks has uh, so many topics to prepare for gate and uh, 80 to 90 percent of the topics which are covered in a uh, Kuros and Rose. So try to follow this textbook and if you have any other book like Tannenbaum or uh, um, Stallings you can also follow them they are also very good books and they also have very good exercise problems and solved problems you can also approach them. Uh, then we will see. Uh, 
the operating system even we uh, read the same books in semester that is galvin and which is very good book uh, to understand the concepts and for the database uh, we have a uh, uh, two major good books one is korth uh, another one is uh, ragu ramakrishna then uh, when it comes to the concepts the uh, korth covers uh, very good concepts but if uh, any concept which you don't understand from this textbook you can go for ragu ramakrishna or any other textbook then we uh, say toc concepts are uh, maybe difficult if you don't have the very good uh, textbook so i have seen that peter lynch a uh, book is very good to understand the basic concepts and it also has uh, many uh, exercise problems to uh, practice so this book peter lynch book is a uh, very good for toc and at least uh, read one time to understand the concepts of toc then we have computer organization uh, again it's one of the difficult subject for the gate as you see there are lot of theoretical concepts and also lot of uh, problems to discuss or practice in this case uh, go for uh, go for the hamesher book because i have seen some of the gate questions which were asked directly from hamesher because uh, also co questions uh, may be asked from the theoretical concepts uh, when the questions are coming from theory this hamesher book is really good uh, where questions were given directly from this book so please try to read this amateur book at least you can answer these theoretical questions when you are not able to solve the problems then a digital logic there is a very good standard book which is a uh, morris mono and which covers uh, almost all concepts which are required for a digital logic uh, you know the mostly uh, combinational circuit is very important for computer science so this is covered very well then compiler design if you uh, have very good notes uh, for the compiler design even textbook is not required but anyhow the compiler design um, you have uh, so many topics in which uh, parsing is uh, very important almost every topic which is required for gate is covered in ulman book and go for any edition of the ulman which is sufficient to prepare for gate to cover the comp compiler design then discrete mathematics uh, you don't have any small book to prepare all the topics of a uh, gate but this rosen book is uh, looks a uh, very big but you have so many examples to practice and uh, do not worry those examples which are very difficult because according to the gate pattern uh, the examples which were uh, which were covered through the concepts you can understand i have seen uh, thousands of uh, exercise problems were given in rosen and if you try to solve every question uh, it is very difficult because even i i teach discrete mathematics but difficult to solve every question by me so try to understand what is the gate syllabus and what are the gate questions were asked and what do you need to practice from this rosen book and if you correlate them and the rosen book really helps you uh, for the gate because uh, many questions in gate were asked directly from the rosen book so many of the concepts which were already there in the rosen and if any question comes in the gate mostly uh, it may be from rosen only then engineering mathematics uh, if you have a good set of questions from the gate uh, and good uh, textbook then it is very easy to practice engineering mathematics portion because engineering mathematics is somewhat different when it comes to the computer science people because calculus uh, portion especially uh, finding differentiation integration we feel difficult but actually uh, that questions also comes very less in gate but try to understand limit continuity maxima minima simple differentiation and integration that is more sufficient for computer science and do not prepare each and every uh, topic in differentiation we don't have in syllabus so look at the gate syllabus when you read or when you prepare from gravel and gravel is having very good book for higher engineering mathematics which covers almost every topic required for not only uh, for computer science it is also good for all the branches in gate then finally uh, i know that general aptitude do not require a uh, special attention but sometimes people require uh, need to understand some concepts like uh, grammar and some of the topics like distance time finding and profit and loss 
and maybe series questions. Uh, you can practice from Agarwal book, whether it is uh, verbal or non-verbal reasoning. Both uh, books are available by the Agarwal. You can go with this. Now, I wanted to conclude that is this books really important to prepare? I say uh, just follow this kind of important points. 80% of the syllabus demand you need to go for the books, at least one textbook. So I will tell you that to cover the gate syllabus, you must go to uh, one textbooks and do not go more than one textbook to read entire syllabus. But it may be required some of the topics to read. So we will see what is that. So 80% of gate syllabus, you just go for one topic, one book, one topic, one book. That means one textbook, try to prepare all the topics. So 80% of the syllabus is one topic from one book only. So there are some important topics. They are, uh, you can see that every year, uh, it might be coming in gate or every year uh, the questions might be difficult to solve uh, from these topics. So those topics are very important if you assume then those important topics you may go for more than one textbook because when you go for more than one textbook you will understand uh, very clearly about that topic. And also you can search on Google about those important topics and you can gather and prepare them. So that is one to many. One topic go for the uh, many resources to prepare when it, you feel that is important. Then practicing questions. There are so many topics as well as so many uh, questions you require. Then many to many. So wherever you see many textbooks, many resources, many test series and there are many things are available. So, so many to many will help you to practice the many questions or many varieties of the questions from each topic. Then revision of topics is different from all of them. So when you go for the revision, you have so many topics in gate, you must bring into one page. That is try to put uh, many topics in uh, one short notes that will help you to prepare better uh, for the gate. So if you follow these four principles and it looks uh, very good how, how to prepare and which books to prepare. So I think uh, this kind of preparation is uh, necessary if you want to get a very good rank in gate. So, uh, I think uh, this video really help you uh, which books are required to prepare and how to prepare for them. You can uh, practice uh, so many of uh, free quizzes are available uh, from almost all topics and study notes also available on grade up. You can ask regularly uh, whatever the doubts you get every day that you prepare for gate. You can uh, freely discuss and you can also respond to other queries asked by the uh, gate aspirants from all over the world and this will really helps you to where do stand in world or India. So that makes you a uh, very boost uh, that makes you good confidence and boost for your preparation to crack the gate. So thank you for watching this video.